Tale Seven: Truth Related to Reality. Kashi, which is a holy city on the banks of River Ganges in India, was once the capital of the state ruled by an eminent king. His court consisted of a galaxy of great scholars whose deliberations evolved in search of truth, and this motto was also prominently displayed in golden letters. One fine morning, a young monk entered the court and suggested a change in the motto to "In Search of Reality," to the surprise and amusement of the assembled scholars. Truth need not be the same as reality, declared the young monk to the shocked audience. Truth is what you believe in, but reality is what is. To demonstrate his statement, he caused many barrels of oils to be placed in open area. on a full moon night when the moon was clearly reflected in their oily surfaces my dear friends said the young monk the moon in the oil barrels is a truthful reflection and you may believe them to be as many moons as the barrels if you don't look up to the moon above but you are also aware of the reality of a single moon similarly You may create many number of wooden articles and call them by different names but you are aware of the basic reality of wood in them when the barrels are emptied of oil these truthful reflections disappear but not the real moon when the different items of furniture are broken they lose their individual names but become only scraps of wood what we believe is normally conditioned by space and time but the reality is beyond them hence our effort should be directed in search of reality and the motto should also be so the entire assembly found that there was a sense in his statements and power in his advocacy and so the motto was modified as in search of reality after a few years the galaxy of scholars again received a shock when another young monk demanded a change in the motto saying that it should be in search of truth and reality my dears declared he to the confused audience truth may not be the reality it also has its place in the scheme of things while you see the numerous truthful reflections of moon in the oil barrels you cannot ignore their existence do you accept the reality of one moon similarly you cannot ignore the varieties of furniture with their different names as long as they exist all of you in reality men and women but no one can ignore the fact that each one of you have an individual name the sum total of truth may be called reality but even reality can be broken down into many individual truths hence i suggested he advised the now convinced assembly that the motto be redrafted to read in search of truth and reality everyone applauded agreed and accepted the change but not for long after a few years another young monk appeared on the horizon to contest the wording of the motto how can you say that a truth is truthful unless it is in some way related to reality he now challenged the astonished scholars all the reflections of the moon in the oil barrels receive their source from one reality and they are all connected to it without the moon there can be no reflections similarly all the wooden furniture are related to one source the wood you have to concede that truth in whatever form is ultimately related to the reality hence all your declarations would become meaningful when you go in search of truth related to reality all the scholars realized the realistic truth in his statements and so it came to pass that the matter was again changed as per his wishes this story reveals the innate inner interlink among the three schools of thought in indian tradition advaita non duality dvaita duality and vishishta dvaita duality reflecting non duality